Hello one and all and welcome back to the channel. This particular video is focused on Mr. Sabretooth, which as you can see is ranked up to a rank 4. Now I'm rocking Suicide Masteries at the moment, not particularly good ones, which will be shifted back fairly shortly, especially when the new season of Alliance War season starts. What I wanted to do with this video is showcase him as a rank 4 5 star, as well as look at the synergy grouping and also test him out with Suicide Masteries and seeing if his damage output is good you know, what generally is the crack. So to start off with, X Assassins. This is with a Mega Red. 30% chance basic claw hit inflict bleed, dealing 40% of attack as direct damage over 4 seconds. Yes, I like that. With Domino, Regeneration and Fury are 12% more effective. Yes, I'll definitely have a bit of that. And Killmonger's in 30% power rate when hitting opponents that are suffering from a debuff. So I want to get more bleeds on the enemy and also get that power rate increase. And not to mention Untamed Force, 20% chance for his low kick first medium attack to be unblockable. Additionally, if the opponent activates an unstoppable effect as a result of this attack, it expires instantly. Yes, let's do this. Now obviously based on staying power, I'd probably utilize this against Realm of Legends, but you know, variant with the skill and mutant requirement right at the beginning does seem some sort of viability with this, but I would like my Killmonger to be a 5 star version and a lot more signature stones to be on my Omega Red in order to really benefit from all of that horrible damage you can deal out to the enemy. Oh, I so want Omega Red as a 5 star. One day it should happen. Okay, regardless of the mistakes and regardless of maybe the Suicide Mastery isn't set up correctly, the fact is anything that's set up with Suicide Masteries, the recoil damage is something that I'm just not up for nowadays. So even though I wanted to kind of quickly do arena grinding and I probably will keep my suicides on for a few days to the point I'm recording this video is Monday the 11th. I'll probably keep this on until the weekend and then switch back, especially because we've got Alliance War seasons and yeah, having suicide masteries in Alliance Wars is not exactly the best thing in the world. Maybe even be a case that while we're doing the mid season grinding of Alliance Wars, I'm going to switch back to my older mastery. Now it's more of a logical step to get Sabretooth up to rank 4. I know a lot of other champions I would like to take in a similar vein. We've also got Domino in the roster. We've got Iron Man Infinity War, MODOK, Ghost Rider. I've got Rogue, Nightcrawler, as well as Proxima Midnight. Maybe it's the case that the two mutants there wouldn't be the ones of choice. And also some other champions which, you know, if I wanted to take any further than rank 4 and put up to rank 5, then they would be logical options. However though, I'm still on the fence. Like any player nowadays that gets absorbed in the hype of champions like Corvus Glaive, you're like, I really want that champion first before I consider anything with regards to a rank up. Now, if not, and it's the case by the end of this month, I've not come to a decision, I'm just going to go screw it and I'm going to either rank up Medusa, Sabretooth, Iceman, largely depending on the amount of signature stones on each of them. Sabretooth at the moment doesn't have enough signature stones to make me really want to put him up further, especially to put him in any kind of defensive format in Alliance Wars. 
27 signatures on him, yeah, not too great, but I would prefer anything over 100 to really justify that move. Iceman's currently on 82, and I'd love to see how much that energy damage could really be at a higher signature. But as an alliance, if we call for something like a Medusa at rank 5 to be put into our particular BG, then of course I'm going to do that. But if I was to get something like a 6-star Corvus or an Awakened Sentinel, then maybe my thought process would be towards my 6-star roster. But in any case, Sabretooth is one of my favourite champions in-game currently, and it does switch from time to time, but this champion's got a few things. Mainly, it's to do with the Furies and the damage output, the bleeds. That cute little synergy team that we put together was quite nice as well, so... Yeah, that has been a video about Sabretooth, ranking up to rank 4, and other piddly crap that's going on with my roster. Thanks very much for watching, I've been Rich the Man. Make sure to like, share and subscribe and I should catch you in the next one. Bye bye for now.